Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and welcome to another Yap Time with Taylor. So I have the apartment to myself again this weekend and I didn't do anything last weekend. I had wanted to like get a lot of filming done but I didn't and I was just tired so I listened to my body and I just relaxed. This weekend I feel like I've got a lot of really good stuff planned and I'm really excited to get to filming. Uh, so I'm starting out with a fresh face and I think it's hard. Do I want to do glowy on camera? Because I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter and I really like this stuff but I don't know if it's like good for the camera because this is just strictly filming makeup yeah maybe we'll skip it today then i mentioned in one of my last get ready with me is that the other person that was living with my best friend and i moved out they moved in with their partner so i moved in to this bathroom uh, because it's actually connected to my room. I'm excited to finally have like access to this space and you know just be able to you know do stuff in here spread out a little bit. But yeah it has been so gross all week. I feel like an entire week of the summer has just been like ripped away from me if I'm being honest and it's not even supposed to be very nice this weekend and I'm honestly so sad about it. I'm sick of like this bad weather. It's not a fun time. It is not a good time. <sighs> going to be using my Almay Smart Shade Foundation. This is what I use pretty much all the time when I film and I feel like it looks really good on camera. I'm trying to use up the makeup products that I have because I do have, what is it, four foundations and I definitely don't need that like I'm one girl and I'm like I don't do makeup that often they all kind of have purposes like obviously now this is my filming stuff and I have like a more full coverage foundation that I wear for work stuff then I have the Fenty Ease Dropped which I liked a lot last summer, but I don't know, maybe it's gone off. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's doing what it used to do for me, but I always feel that way with foundations. Like it always does so much for me when I first get it, but then towards the end of like having it before I like throw it out, before it's like empty, I feel like it just doesn't work as well as it used to for me. So I plan on trying to work on a lot of different projects this weekend and I also decided I wanted to try doing a reading challenge. If you have watched my channel for any length of time you know that like I also love reading and I did try, emphasis on try, to do a reading challenge a while ago. Um, I tried to read for 24 hours and I failed big time at that. It's you don't realize how long 24 hours is until like you're actually in it and then you look down and you're like gosh it's only been an hour i think i got to like 16 hours and then my timer reset and i was like you know what i'm done like this is taking me so long i can't do this anymore <laughs> but this time i'm gonna try doing a reading 200 pages a day challenge so I think that that'll be better, especially because I just started the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes the other day, and I I know that it's like a YA book, so it already like is just a bit more fast paced. But I was having such a good time reading it. Like last night, I did not want to put it down to go to bed, like not at all. So I think that that'll be a good book to start the challenge off with, and then. I'm not sure what I'll do after that, honestly. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where I end up. Since I moved here, I pretty much haven't un not unpacked my makeup, but it was all like in a makeup bag, and that's how I would like do it on camera most of the time. But it's been nice to be able to like just pull from 
I have like one of those really old like Pyrex, no, what are these called? Sterilite things? I don't know, but it's old. I've had it for what feels like forever. And I love it and it works for me. All of my makeup besides my, um, my eyeshadow palettes like fits in there. So that's pretty nice. How is everyone's beginning of summer going? I hope that it's going so well for you. I hope that where you are is nice and sunny compared to where it isn't, where I am. Like it's giving how you like in the rain girl from Twilight and like not here for it. I can never tell if that product works or not. I have the Makeup by Mario, like this is the bronzing stick in the colorway medium. And it's definitely like not too dark. And I feel like I can see it, but I can't tell if it like looks good on camera or not. I like want to use it because I have it, you know. And it's definitely like the season for creams. want to use it before it goes off, you know. I also finished this cardigan today. I've been working on it for a while. It turned out so much bigger than I thought. Um, so if you... Again, if you've watched my channel at all, I use Ofire Co. hooks a lot. They are my favorite. They're a resin hook. And I just find them to be like really comfortable and really beautiful. And I just like working with them a lot. So I mostly use those, but with that they have like a pretty distinct taper to them. And so when I crochet with them, my tension tends to be a lot looser, which I don't know. There's nothing wrong with loose tension. It's honestly like easier on the hands because I'm not like yanking and pulling too much. So I don't think that's a bad thing, but you'll see I have another cardigan that's made with the same yarn and I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. So I used a 5.5 for this one in the O-Fire one, but then I also used a 5.5 Clover Amore hook for the other one, and it's not nearly this big. And I just realized when I put it on, and people already don't believe me when I say, like, I don't mean to make my hexagon cardigan so big. They just kind of end up that way. <laughs> but that's what happens. I used the same amount of rows but it's just a lot bigger because my tension was so much looser. I still cannot believe that it is almost July. I feel like this year has gone by so, so, so fast. And it's just like mind boggling to me. What eyeshadow do I wanna do? I'm really excited for like the yapping videos that I decided on for this weekend. I'm doing one on High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> I think I might need to find a new clear brow gel. If you have any recommendations for any in the comments. I currently use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Um, it's just like a clear mascara. But I'm finding that it's getting like really gross and clumpy. Because there's just like so much product on the wand when it like comes out of the tube. So if you have any like brow gel setting recommendations, I would love to hear them. What do I want to do for eyeshadow today? I have this Stone Cold Fox palette. Yeah, I think this is what I want. I think I'm going to do this like bronzy row. If you look at it, you can kind of tell each row is its own like color story. So I think I'm going to do this row here. It's honestly like nice that it's set up that way because like you kind of look at it and you're like, oh, but then I used this like all last summer. It was my favorite palette. But obviously not very conducive. Obviously not very conducive to like traveling and stuff. So that's why I kind of had to get the smaller one that I travel with all the time. Also, for whatever reason, the one I bought, the pans are like super loose. And I have not had that happen. I have a couple 
ColourPop palettes. Like I've got obviously the Feelin' Bubbly one that I always talk about. I also got the like Kathleen Lights collaboration from like, gosh, it feels like eons ago now. I'm trying to think. I also have the Lemoncello one from a few summers back. I used to love consuming makeup content. Like that was, when I was in high school, that was, it was like the height of beauty YouTubers. So think like Jaclyn Hill was still posting and who else was a big one in the game? You know, like Kylie Cosmetics was like the big thing. Like the lip kits and stuff. But I didn't have money for that. I've been like a drugstore girly. Other than like eyeshadows, I used to like um, ask for all the naked palettes for Christmases and my birthday. But then, what was it? I got into college and I still did a bunch of makeup, but then I had even less money. <laughs> and then I really stopped wearing makeup for a long time in college. I was just like so tired. I was like, I cannot. The only time I would do my makeup is if I was going to the bar. You know how people talk about like 2016 with those like crisscross tops and like dark wine lips that like absolutely don't really seem like they match when you look at photos of it today and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was my jam. I love a dark lip. During the winter time, I'll wear like an all black outfit and then I will also wear black lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just got out of it. And now that I'm a little bit older, have a little bit more disposable income, I wouldn't say like I'm totally back into it, but I definitely have like learned to enjoy makeup again. I want to start experimenting more with different makeup looks. The only problem is, is like if you do a bold makeup look, you gotta have the outfit to match. I mean, you don't have to, but like in my opinion, that's just like how my brain works. So I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do this like crazy sort of eye, what am I gonna wear with it? And like, I just don't have a very big wardrobe. And I'm hoping to kind of rectify that when me and my friend move since we'll be moving somewhere where there'll just be a lot more shopping options and I'm really excited for that I would love to I would love to be able to you know explore more and through like thrifting and different things like that there just aren't there well so everything out here is like a charity shop and you can find good stuff there sometimes it's just not all the time and it's mostly like a lot of t-shirts and you know things that people just obviously didn't want um, and a lot of those shops now too it's all Shein stuff like a Plato's closet pretty much only has Shein stuff in it. I would love to like mess around with different like winged eyeliners and really bold eyeshadow looks again. I think I just like don't know how. Um, I think I'm just like honestly a little bit afraid, <laughs> which I shouldn't be and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, after this I'm going to film a few reels. It's fine. I need to stop touching it. That's the thing. If you like doing winged eyeliner, it's okay if they're not like 100%. They're sisters, not twins, just like your eyebrows. <laughs> Ugh, it drives me crazy too. But it's so funny. I just remember this one time when I was in college. I was in a sorority and we were doing a recruitment event and there was a girl next to me and she was like looking at my makeup and I was like, hey, what's up? And she was like, your, your wings are so sharp. Like your eyeliner looks so good. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And I remember so vividly that day, like feeling like my eyeliner was so messed up. So... You are the only person who knows that, like, your eyeliner is messed up, I promise. Alright, and now the lips. What should I do for the lips? Is this too pink? What is this one? I want something, like, kind of neutral, but, like, not crazy. I know that, like, brownie lips are the big thing right now, but I just know that that would look crazy on me. Oh, ooh, this one might... Mm. How would this one look? 
Not on my teeth, I don't want it there. I have such a hard time with pink lipsticks. They tend to make my teeth look really yellow. So I'm always like very careful. This is the color that a makeup artist used on me for one of my friends' weddings. I'm trying to think if it looks good with this bron bronzy eye. Cause like I know it's more of a neutral eye, but is that, oh God, is this a neutral lip? Oh God. This is like the crisis with like lips, for me at least. That's why I like just, you know, do my eye makeup the same way all the time and then I always know what lipsticks I have that go with it. I think it's good for now. Maybe if I have to reapply, I'll do a different one later. I'm just like not used to it. I'm used to my lips having more of a brown hue, I guess. But thank you so much for watching today. Uh, this is the finished makeup look. I think I need to like tease my hair a little bit. I just washed it yesterday. Don't forget to give this video a like. Comment down below one of your like highs of the week. So like something good that happened. Like for me, my high of the week was finally finishing a couple projects that have been, you know, in my whip pile for a really long time. So let me know one good thing that happened to you this week. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.